Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to this channel, I'm Emilio and I post videos here on tutorials, filmmaking tips, gear reviews, tech reviews and so much more. So if you're into this kind of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel and also don't forget to ring the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Exactly on the previous video from this one, I unboxed the M1 Mac Mini. I bought the basic version with the 8GB of memory RAM and the 256 SSD. And because one of the biggest part that is dedicated to this channel is Final Cut Pro, what a better idea to use footage from the A7S 3 but not just the old eye, as I saw in a lot of comments in social media that I posted the previous video and also on the YouTube channel and I will have for you to check this out on the Mac Mini how it handles the XAVC 8s at 280 megabits 4 to 2 10 bit video how it is performing how we can uh, see if it can play back and uh, we're gonna start creating a video we're gonna add some adjustment layers some effects on it and uh, we're gonna see does this $699 in the US around 879 euros in uh, Europe can handle this kind of footage and editing in Final Cut Pro. Let's go and find out. So as you see here, here is the screen. We have the Final Cut Pro. I have the different uh, footages that I imported. And as you can see, at this time of recording, I'm also recording the whole screen and the audio of course and I also have Safari so we open first of all the activity monitor and to answer a very basic question that we see a lot of times is the 8 gigabytes of RAM enough? We will see that uh, right now we're using 6.73 gigabytes of memory and we already have swap of 1.18 in idle basically what I noticed on the past two days is that it's staying at six to seven gigabytes of memory, even in idle state. So I didn't see any problems. I didn't see any problems uh, even with uh, the reddening and all this stuff. But what I, I like to say is that if you can afford it, the, eight, the 16 gigabytes of RAM, go get it. If you, um, you believe that you're going to do a lot of... Uh, multitasking and uh, having a lot of uh, different tasks for the Mac Mini and you have again the budget for it, go get it. But for me personally, I didn't see that, uh, at least for now, it will stop me on uh, working on this machine. So, the first thing that uh, made the whole uh, impression to me is that on the previous Mac that I had, I couldn't preview on the finder. So I transferred, first of all, the files on a Samsung T5 SSD. Okay, so we're not working on the SSD of the Mac Mini right now. And as you can see, I click on it and I can preview the video without any problems. Something that I couldn't do that on the previous Mac. So to begin with, you can preview your files. Now, you're going to tell me, Emilio, I could import them to Final Cut Pro, for example, with a 16 MacBook Pro fully specced, and it was okay, but it's a nice feature to have all the uh, necessary tools to preview our videos as well. And we're going into uh, Final Cut. Right here, we see a video that it's XAVC 8S, as I said, okay, and we can see that as well on the info here, it's HEVC. Uh, I have different videos, I have the XAVC 8S on the highest resolution, and also I have the all I that you will see here, it's AVC coding, okay? So we can have both of them. Now, as you can see, scrolling on the library, it's very responsive, it's not dropping any frames here and also I have it in better quality so I'm optimized better quality not in better performance now I'm gonna drag this to the timeline and you can see already that it's render like what <laughs> okay and we play to see the absolute smoothness no drop frames, no nothing, 
and let's go into the effects let's uh, drag a custom LUT we can add a LUT of course here on the spectral panel in the settings but let's go and add um, the S-Log3 to 709 okay as soon as I drop it no drop frames of course we can um, as I place the, the LUT, we can also wait to render. Do you see right now the rendering? Okay, real time, uh, it was about uh, seven seconds. Okay, I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna love this. Okay, let's go again, XAVC. Uh, let's say we start from here. Let's finish here. Let's drop this as well. Okay. Here I'm going to cut it. Placing here. I'm going to Command C, Command Option V to paste the basic LUT. You see how it's working, right? Like no drop frames, no anything, just dragging on top of that. Uh, let's grab now an all I. Okay. Also, the files, for example, the XAVC HS, it's on 100 frames per second. PAL, Europe, I know, no 120 for me. Um, and also, let's uh, try to do some speed driving. Basically, I'm going to do it later on as we're moving forward. It's not going to be too much long to wait for me to see how I'm editing. Of course. Okay, let's begin it from here. Command Option V, pasting the effects. For example, here, automatic speed. Uh, this is the OLI, this is 50 frames per second on a 25 frames per second 4K project. You know what? Like, what is happening right now? Okay, let's cut it here and uh, let's go grab this one. Okay, place it here. Command option V. You see the speed? This is real time. Okay, this is a real time editing. And uh, we're going to add adjustment layers. We're going to see also different angles and also a multicam. We're going to set a multicam to see a multicam on the XAVC H4, how much can handle. But stick with me, stick on the video. Okay, here we start again the moving. Okay. Check this out, real-time rendering, okay? Real-time rendering, <laughs> like what's... Okay. Right, so let's go into the titles. Let's bring some adjustment layers on top. All right. Uh, let's say that we want... Uh, Creates. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna do now. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's uh, cut it here. One, two, three frames. One, two, three frames. Okay, one of my favorites. Uh, transition effects that I was doing in Final Cut like forever is to get the bad TV effect place it here get also the prism effect get it here so we can create a you see right now right check the rendering it was like under <laughs> half a second okay and playing to see boom Okay, okay. 
I see you, M1, Mac Mini. Okay, let's see in full resolution as well. Check this out. No drop frames at all. No drop frames at all. Like, how many times did I say that? No drop frames. Like, wow. Okay, let's continue now. Let's play some more LUTs on it. So I'm going here. Um, this is from my LUT pack. And let's uh, try the um, video portrait. Okay, let's make it a little bit moodier as well. Video portrait. Okay, at 0.5. And as you can see, I placed the LUT instead, instead rendered. Okay, and we have also. Okay, now here we see a little a little uh, drop frame because it's not rendered, right? Yeah, it hasn't rendered the LUT. But you see, rendered one, two, three, four seconds, four seconds, and it's rendered. Okay, now let's go and. Um, Test this is 20 seconds. It's not it's not very long. So let's make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, so we have all of that. We want to export. I'm not gonna export this. I'm gonna select all of these and I'm gonna place them. Let me zoom out to make a three point. You know what? Let's see what it can do, right? Eight minute is good. Eight thirty. Ten minutes video, okay. Ten minutes video. And share while we're recording, while we have Safari. And let's go and share it. Settings. Four point forty nine gigs. Test 10 minutes and and 12 minutes. It was four seconds, not five that you see right here because I delayed uh, one second. 12 minutes and five seconds. Is it the fastest? No. This machine is an entry level machine that has so much power it can work. And we saw that it can work. 100% fine with a Final Cut. Now, I must say that I'm looking forward to see if they're gonna allow to use eGPUs as well, because another question that I saw is, uh, is it working with eGPU? No, it's not working like the Intel Mac is with eGPU. So uh, we expect to see if it's gonna work. I, I believe that if uh, it will work, it will have uh, better uh, exporting times, but, 12 minutes for a 10 minute uh, 4K video uh, with this kind of files inside, for me, it's a big win. Now, what do you say? Should we try a multicam as well? Hmm? Let's select all of these. New multicam clip. Okay, synchronizing. We're checking the speeds. All right, placing it here. Let's view the angles, let me close this, okay, and select just the video for it. And let's see, nine angles. So far, so good, so far, so good. Okay, let's uh, leave it a little bit to, okay, it's doing the transcoding right now. It's not very slow, the transcoding. And if I try to play, of course it's not playing. Yeah, now we finally did it. It's struggling. So we're going to wait for it to render so this can work. And there are going to be a lot of files to get transcoding. But again, let's see, optimized, better quality. OK, I didn't drop to better performance. It's straight out of the camera and checking how it's handling.
if you're gonna have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten angles. For ten angles, the truth is, you're gonna have to wait for the transcoding. I'm not. Uh, you understood what is going on. I'm not gonna wait. You see, it's not. It's not working very well <laughs> right now at the moment. So let me just delete this multicam and let's see uh, a three angle multicam right now. With three angle multicam again. We're gonna drag it here. I believe things are gonna be better with uh, three angles. Hmm. Yep, with three angles, it's working just fine. You see here, real time, changing the ah. Now it's drunk. Now it started dropping some frames, but. Again, it's not rendered yet. Let's see and play. Nothing is dropping. Everything is working like... So three angles, I believe four angles as well is gonna be fine. It's very safe to work on a multicam with XAVC HS 4K 280 megabits and I believe we have a win for nine or 10, uh, 11, 12 angles. Yeah, it's not gonna hold, but what do you expect, right? What do you expect of <laughs> this size? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the Mac mini Final Cut Pro and uh, the footage from A7S3? I can't wait to see your reactions. And uh, also if you have any suggestions for things that you want to see me testing on this machine i'm waiting them as well thank you so much for watching i'm emilio and i will see you in the next video